Okay, guys. Um, so, as you guys could see, I have the DGJ SRT 1000, and I'm using the latest um, MacBook. Okay, the latest MacBook that dropped on September of 2020. So this here that I'm using, as you guys could see, is the MacBook Pro um, M1 Max. Okay, I have 68 gigabytes of RAM, um, you know, eight terabytes of storage, okay? Um, I just wanna say that I use this for video editing, so it's you don't need this type of, this type of power for Serato but this air is just geared towards the Serato DJs. You know, this is just the, and I'm using Mac OS Monastery, okay? So the reason why, cause I know that some people try to plug in their MacBook and they saw that there, you know, there was a security problem. Okay, when you click here, you see that you're not able to um, upload um, Serato DJ on your, Mac okay, so I just want to show you guys something quick, fast. Um, because I know I took a screenshot of the message that I was getting, yes, I did. Uh huh. As you guys could see, before I wasn't able to use um Serato, okay, they gave me this um weird error message where they said, um, um to enable and to enable system extension you need to modify your security settings um, in the recovery environment, okay? So what I did is basically shut down my computer, okay? I hit um, the power button slash the um, fingertip keyboard ID. So I press and hold down the power button slash fingerprint ID for a while so then i wait to see continue holding up for startup options and then i then you're going to see loading startup options and afterwards it's going to take a couple of minutes okay before you could see the full option button pops up and once that option button pops up you're going to see another button what you want to do is click on options okay and then you click continue and then you're going to see the apple logo um, coming up slightly and then you're going to see this um, folder or this um, interface that says mac os recovery and then they're going to ask you for you know which one which who are you and it's dj troy so you select and then you put in your password, right? And after you finish putting in your password now, you're gonna hit okay, and then you're gonna hit continue. And once you're done with that, you're gonna go up to the section that says utilities and you wanna click startup security utilities and then you're gonna wait until it populates a, a little bit, okay? and then you're going to see security policies and you want to click on reduce security policies reduce security and as you can see it says allow user to management of kernel extension from identified developers allow remote management of kernel extension and automatic software update you click ok and then it's going to ask you for your password all right so since I already did it, I don't need to put in my password again, but you just put in your password and it's okay. And after that, you simply shut down your computer and everything else should be perfectly fine. Here is another look at how I did it. They're gonna ask you to click on security policies and what you do, you click on reduce, you allow, any version of okay so they ask you to put in your password again you put it in okay so it's applying the security the reduce security feature 
so you're able to run Serato on the M1. Okay, so after the after you have finished um, restarting your computer, after you change the security settings, it's gonna ask you to log back in regularly into your computer. Your computer boots up, and then it's gonna ask you to log back in regularly. Okay, after you're done logging into your computer regularly you put in your password you know and then there's going to be another um interface on the software in which it's going to boot up and it's going to ask you to adjust your software okay and then okay you're gonna be able to say yes i want to allow any app that has been trusted by apple computer in the past to be used on my computer and once you hit that you say okay it's gonna ask you to shut down your computer again and after you shut down your computer you just restart log back in and your Serato is supposed to be working perfectly fine okay um, I know that it's multiple steps there's a lot of things that you need to do but this is just Apple's way of just being super secure with you know the new wave of technology in which we have right now people do not take it for granted that piracy internet theft um spyware scamware um a lot of stuff is going on right now and you yourself as the user of these machines have to be very careful have to be very mindful okay so just to regurgitate what i just stated after you finish changing the security settings in your um, menu okay in the boot up menu you restart you're gonna log in it's gonna ask you to change the settings again and after you finish changing that settings it's gonna finally ask you to shut down your computer one more time and after your computer is shut down you log back in and there you go serato is ready to work and voila you're good to go. Typically, after I modify the security edit in the startup menu, I was able to allow the software to be able to load on the MacBook Pro M1, and I'm able to use um, Serato perfectly fine. Okay. Everything is running good. No, no worries. guys can see everything is working perfectly fine you know what i'm saying so once you do that sir that that systems edit it will not affect your serato dj and you will be perfectly fine um, i'm so glad that i was able to adjust to do that adjustment because imagine going into a party and you you know thinking that all your macbook pro works um perfectly fine and then you gotta do a, a whole bunch of stuff to get to that point okay? okay so but just a brief word of advice you know what i'm saying as somebody that's been djing for over 20 years i just want to tell you guys this no matter what you do every gig you get just take 10 minutes okay to run through your equipment okay it's it it i promise you it would not hurt Make sure you check everything 
10 minutes. Even if you got the best system in the world, just take 10 minutes, even 20, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that all your I's are dotted and all your T's are crossed. Because weird problems, especially if you're buying new equipment, weird problems arrive and sometimes it's hard to troubleshoot some of these things on the go. For me, because I've been doing it for over 20 plus years, like, you know, there's not a lot that I haven't seen, so it would be easier. But especially for the newcomer, do yourself a favor, troubleshoot your equipment, make sure everything is good before you go out there and spin, all right? This is your boy, DJ Troy. Keep on rocking, keep on doing your thing, and I hope to see you in a city near you. Peace.